All right, guys, welcome back. Episode two of Two Beach Chairs. But as you can see, we're set up right on the beach in Marshfield, Brant Rock. I call this the seawall. There you go. We're at the seawall in Marshfield. It's a beautiful day. We are with my good friend, David Mulcahy. He owns a business called Oh Deer, which is the best deer and tick mosquito repellent company on the South Shore. Dave. Welcome, how are you? Doing well, thank you, Sean, for having me today. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about your business before we get going. All right, so Odeer is the all natural leader for uh, deer control tick and tick and mosquito control. Deer control is um, deer coming on your property and they're feeding on the plants that you've, you know, take care of, you've planted, installed, invested all the money. And then tick and mosquito control is to get you outside and join more time outside. All natural, safe for kids, safe for pets. So Dave, we're in a beautiful spot. Absolutely. You live here. Tell me, where do you live? Uh, so 2015, we relocated from Natick, Mass, down to Duxbury. So what, Somehow figured out that we landed in Duxbury. Yeah, why Duxbury? Uh, so I got the opportunity to start ODR on the South Shore and picked myself up and my uh, fiance at that point and said, we're, we're moving. We're going. We're going to go to Plymouth and live at my in-law's house <laughs> for six months and then we'll buy something. And we somehow landed luckily in Duxbury and uh, we love it. What's your favorite part about Duxbury you think? You can go hikes in the woods, you can go to the beach. Where we live we're closer to the Marshfield line. Yep. So we're in the middle of the woods. We got a hundred acres behind our house Woo! that are conservation. But we're close to 139. We can get to any major restaurant you want or a highway but then you also have all these small local restaurants yep. and shops that you can really be part of the community within yep. five minutes of our house. I love it. I love it. So you're in Natick, you came here, and your business is mostly focused South Shore? Absolutely. So I uh, started South Shore, big areas, Duxbury, uh, Hanover, Cohasset. Um, but we also have clients in Easton and Foxborough. So we cover pretty much inside 495. Uh, we do down uh, three all the way to the bridges. We cut over 44 to 495 up to uh, 95 and then back to three. So it's a big, it's a Got big it. area. So obviously you live in Duxbury, you spend some time here. Where's your favorite spot to go on the South Shore? Let's oh. go first, just yourself. If you had to pick one place to go by yourself and just like be outside, where is that? You know, I love driving the coastline. Yes. Um, I love jumping in my truck, driving up 3A, hitting uh, Cohasset, uh, Situate, yeah. Hull. And then truck. cutting back down and doing 3A, um, hitting Marshfield, going through Duxbury Beach, going through downtown Duxbury. Oh, it's such a good drive. Cut back up, getting to downtown Plymouth, and then I end uh, at Whitehorse Beach, up oh, at the point down there. I love it. And guys, we should do that one day. I'm going to do that one day. Take you guys on that drive. All right, so then with the family, where's your favorite place to go? Uh, Whitehorse Beach. Uh, it's great for the kids, great beach, flat beach. And tell um, everybody, where's Whitehorse White Beach? Whitehorse Beach is in Plymouth. Plymouth. Uh, Manomet. Your favorite hidden gem, the, th the place that you don't think a lot of people who don't live here or even might live here, they don't know about. So when we were back in Marlboro, we, my wife and I, before we had kids, uh, we would watch Phantom Gourmet. <laughs> yes. So they have hidden gems. And I'm pretty sure it was on it. It was Rivershed. Rivershed. And we're like, man, if we ever go down there, we should go. We were here for like a year and a half. We we're finally like, well, we moved to Duxbury. Let's find this place. And it is, it's hidden and it's, it's a gem. It's fantastic. Um, absolutely fantastic. Um, Southern barbecue, Tex-Mex, yep. fried food, that yep. type of stuff. Great, great atmosphere. Yeah, shout out to Rivershed. It's right off of 3A in Situate. Highly recommend that place. I think they just opened up in Weymouth Landing too. They opened up another one, I think. Uh, I've heard something like that. I don't do it justice describing it. So <laughs> yeah. go. Gotta go, gotta go. All right. Your favorite experience, whether it's, you know, going deep sea fishing, going bowling, going whatever, like what is your, one of your favorite experiences to go do, whether it's with the family or on your own? All right, so this is a big shout out to Dave Bitters out of Duxbury, um, Bayman Fishing Charters. Yes. All right, he's got a like 22 foot uh, Carolina skiff, three to four people on it. Okay. Uh, it leaves early in the morning. It's Duxbury Harbor. You go out to, um, might go out to Sakewish. You might go over to um, Bug Light, Plymouth Harbor. It's absolutely worth 
every penny and he sells out the year before so all right guys now we're gonna go rapid fire this is where we ask dave some questions and he's got to just hit us with an answer dave you ready let's hear it all right favorite breakfast spot uh brant rock hop right down the road right down the road favorite coffee spot coffee shack right down the road keep following <laughs> yes. uh 139 favorite pizza on the south shore Oh, uh, Fire and Stone Torteria in Duxbury, and they just opened in Cohasset. They did. Chris is an unbelievable chef. He was a mason um, turned chef after he was building pizza ovens forever. I'm going. I gotta go. All right, favorite dinner spot. Let's. We'll do this two options. Favorite dinner spot with the family. Man, my kids are two and four. We try not to bring them outside. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Favorite yeah. dinner spot if you're taking the wife on a date. Uh, a couple days ago, we went to Almanove. Yeah, that's great. In the shipyard, hang up. Smokehouse, man. Downtown Plymouth. There's a smokehouse right on the water in the waterfront. That's a great spot. Unbelievable views. Yep. Great food. Yep. Great atmosphere. That's a that's a summertime must. You got to that place. Favorite beach on the South Shore? Whitehorse Beach. It's easy to you know. It's easy for us. Great for the family. Uh, quick afternoon jaunt with the with the family. We'll yep. swing over to Duxbury as well. Duxbury Beach. If you had to tell somebody that doesn't live on the South Shore about the South Shore and why they should move here, what would you say? This is my favorite thing I was told <laughs> at, when I moved down here. It was, the traffic is awful. My wife and I always discuss, we're waiting for the traffic to start. <laughs> yeah, yeah, We've been here yeah. five years, six years, still waiting for that traffic. Yeah. The favorite part is you can get anywhere fast, you can get to fun locations. Yep. Um, and the traffic really isn't that bad no. compared to other spots no. in, you know, greater Boston area. Right. Every now and then on three, yeah, you're going to get you're, stuck with the Cape traffic. But other absolutely. than that, if you know the area, you can hit 3A, you can go multiple ways. You don't have to go over the bridge to enjoy the beaches. It's true. It's true. Yeah, guys, like with the proximity to the Cape, the proximity to the city, I mean, you can literally get to anything you need to within an hour, you know, on a good day. Absolutely. Uh, if it's a bad day, yeah. But... You got everything you need right here on the South Shore. Absolutely. I love it. So guys, there it is. Episode number two, two beach chairs. David Mulcahy, oh deer, tick mosquito, deer repellent, the best on the South Shore. We'll see you guys soon.